There's so much work in the Nigerian justice system, as the courts have more than their fair share of cases to handle each year. Due to the sheer workload, there's therefore a need to engage more judges to get the job done in order to read the courts of mounting case files of pending lawsuits and other matters. 23 new judges of the Federal High Court are now joining the system which will do a whole world of good in a country known for delays in handling cases. Though that's a bit of progress made, it's still a far cry from the required number of judges needed to do a thorough job. For the new Federal High Court judges, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Olukayode Ariwola, says there is no room for questionable conduct. The satellite light of the National Judicial Council beams brightly on all judicial officers across the country. The National Judicial Council should never, either by omission or commission, be mistaken for a toothless bulldog. It can back fiercely and as well bite deeply and aggressively too. Our radar is sophisticated enough to detect every form of corruption and wrongdoing by judicial officers. And we will not waste a moment in taking the necessary action to fish out bad eggs. And to Nigerians, Justice Ariwala says public opinion can't take the place of the law. Several petroleum attacks are regularly opened and hit on the judiciary. It is, however, crystal clear that public opinion, no matter how serious or weighty it might be, cannot override or supersede the constitution of the country, which we aptly apply in deciding each case before the court. Nevertheless, your lordship still owe your conscience and the generality of the Nigerian masses, particularly those who are looking up to you, the great responsibility of good moral rectitude and acceptable conduct to uphold and consolidate the trust reposed in you. Ulukade Ariwola Jr. from Oyo State, who is son of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, is one of the 23 new High Court judges drawn from 20 states, including the Federal Capital Territory. Godfrey Eshamogay, Arise News.